round prayers for all of you. I wish you all wonderful energies. So in today's session, we will be practicing five asanas for immunity. All five asanas, they are easy to do. You need to spend some time for their training and you will be able to perform them. First asana is Mandukasana. How we do that? We come on your knees this way. Body straight, back straight. Place both the hands on them or make your fist in this manner where your thumb is inside and keep your fist sideways with your navel. So both practices are okay. This is Mandukasana. Now what we do here, you exhale and push your body forward. Depending on your flexibility, you need to practice this. You should not push too hard. You should not be too slow. See your flexibility level and accordingly you can push your body. Three, two, one. So while going down, you exhale your breath. While coming up, you inhale. Big exhale and you drop your body down and you try to touch the floor with your head or forehead. Very gently, you come back. One more count. In each round, you can perform three counts. In each round, three counts. And you can hold it for 20 seconds to 30 seconds. And slowly come back. This is your first asana. Now we'll do our second asana. The name of second asana is Paschimottanasana. Both legs together. Body straight, back straight. Then push your body down and come back. So exhale is the count when you're going down. Exhale, go down and try to hold your toes with your hands this way. Push your elbows to the floor. Come up, big exhale. Elbow. Come up, big exhale. And good. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Come back. Again, for this asana also, you can hold this for 20 to 30 seconds. In each set, do two to three rounds. Breathe nicely. Let's move to the next asana. Next asana is halas. For that, lie down on your back. The counts can be increased. It all depends on your strength, your stamina, the way how you are practicing. Now lift your legs up. This asana is also very powerful, very impactful for immunity. Now what we need to do here, lift the body up in this way. Your pelvis need to be supported with your hands. Now place your legs behind your head in this manner. And this is your halasana. So one round, 20 to 30 seconds. Initially, you can start with your 10 seconds, 5 seconds, and build your stamina. Try to hold for longer duration for good results. So you are holding halasana. And this is your third asana. Stay in this position. Very, very slowly, come back, relax there, breathe and relax. Fourth asana is Chakrasana, wheel pose. And you need to spend time to learn this technique. Very, very helpful asana. Now, you are on your legs, turn your head. With the help of your hand, lift your body and come on your head. Stay in this position. Then support your body with your hands and lift your body up. This way and be in this position. Balance your body weight here. Very, very, very slowly come down. So again, holding of this posture depends on your stamina. If you can hold for longer duration, it will help you to impact your lymph nodes and that's what helps us to build immunity. Breathe, inhale, exhale, both hands with your shoulder. 
Inhale. Exhale. Very gently inhale, exhale. Your head on mat. And with the help of your hands, lift your body. Three, two, one, and up. Heel need to be flat on mat. Strong palms. Look down. And then gently come down zero. This is your fourth asana. Now turn to the right side, roll on your mat and come up. Balance your body. Let's move to the last asana. The name of this asana is Vajrasana. How we do that? Both knees together and the pressure is on the heel. Hands on your knees. Body straight, back straight. Breathe normal, breathe regular, inhale, exhale. Natural flow of your breath. Hold for longer duration for good results. And then very slowly, gently, you can come out from your asanas. So you did five asanas for immunity. All these asanas, they, they are very helpful to build and to make your immunity strong. Do them easily, do them with breath. Asan can be done for 10 seconds to 30 seconds. You can go long, but it all depends on your capacity. In this session, five asanas, each asana, repeat that asana for three to five rounds. So I wish you good for your practice. We'll meet again. Pranam.